Hi, my name is Jana. I'm a newborn maternity photographer and I'm here at my studio right now and uh, this is Lucy Photography. Today I will be talking about a wrapping technique for newborns that I'm very fond of. I call this one crisscross. I thought this one would be great to share because it's simple to accomplish yet it looks beautiful in a photo and that's what we want. Um, it's also very easy to remove without disturbing the baby so you can continue workflow seamlessly which is always a bonus. Um, okay, let's get started! Before I start with the wrapping, I make sure that my setup is ready. And today we'll be posing our baby in this bowl. We have a sweet baby girl today as our model. She's 10 days old. Um, I should mention that we usually photograph newborns within the first two weeks after birth. That's when they're still tiny and sleepy and comfortable in those cute curly poses. So now I have this baby on my lap with this wrap centered underneath her. I want you to notice that I'm using one of my smaller wraps for this particular technique. I don't need a lot of fabric here because I'm not going to be swaddling her like I would if she was awake. This is more decorative than, than functional, so I make sure she's nice and sleepy first. I start by crossing her feet and placing her hands on her chest. First, I take one of the ends of the wrap and bring it to the other side while I'm holding her feet and her body in place. Now I take the other side and cross the two ends in the middle. I make sure it's tight so the baby's hands and feet stay in place. I don't make a knot here, I just crisscross the two ends and twist them once. Now I just tuck in the ends under the baby on both sides. I don't need to secure the ends anywhere. Once I place her, once I put her down, her own weight will be enough to keep the wrap in place. Now I spread the fabric to cover her shoulders and her legs while leaving just this little opening for her feet to show. I don't worry about her hands just yet because once I move her, she might make fists and we'll have to start over again. So I just keep them close, but I don't have to worry about the hands completely just yet. And finally, to complete this bundled up look, I'll use this little bonnet. So wrapping the baby is only half the work. To get great shots out of this, I still need to pose her to look all curled up and snug. Underneath this layer, I already have some posing beans and rolled up towels to hold her in place and to help with the pose. After I put her down, I adjust the pose by tilting her head and placing her hands where I can see them while making sure her fingers are nice and flat. And sometimes we're adjusting the feet as the baby moves. And just adjusting all the little details all around. Details are super important. I want to bring your attention to the light here. When we photograph newborns, we always try to direct the light to come down their face and their body. Adding an angle to this light makes it even better. As I mentioned before, this wrap is easy to remove, so we can modify the setup with minimal effort. I'm just going to untap the wrap, just untap the ends of the wrap, and take off the headband, and maybe position it to the side so I can get a completely different setup. I can also change the hat for a headband and add other details.
When a baby is all curled up on her back like this, she's in the perfect position for macro shots, also called detail shots. I prefer to take those without any head pieces or any other details. The more basic, the better. So I'll just remove all of that and change to my macro lens. And that's a wrap on the wrapping technique. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip because I have much more to share. I teach all this and more at my workshops, which are much more complete and hands-on. If you can make it to one of my classes, I will teach you everything I know about newborn maternity photography, from start to finish, all about post-processing, editing, and even the business aspect of it all. It's not just about the art, you know. For more information about my workshops, please click on the link at the end of this email message and I hope to see you in one of my classes soon. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.